Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. In this video, I'm gonna try and get this platform done. Though I'm not feeling very ambitious about it. It's just a, I'm just not feeling it. So I'm just gonna get as much done as I can. My build is a blind across to the other side. See how I go. Right, eight times to 12, that's a number. I don't know how much that actually is. Uh, yeah. Good realism. It's coming along nicely. It's going to take three carts for this one. There we go. It's first part. Second part. This one's expensive. 70. I actually wonder if I could actually get it to be cheaper. I'll try and see what happens. I might say first in case I do it and I mess it up and I cancel the wrong one. Okay, let's see how this goes. 66 for 70. Yeah, got the bigger one. Why not? Need to plant some more blueberries. Shannon. Ah, oh, mushrooms are coming along well. Let's see how much I get from one. Just one. I don't remember planting this many. They're spreading. They must work on like a spore system. That is so weird. Yeah, there you go. They're spreading on their own. <laughs> that is really cool. I had no idea cave gardeners did this. Wow. That is awesome. Sorry, I'm just in a bit of awe right now. That was really cool. I'll plant heaps because I churn three blueberries. Ah, uh, this is the tree of life. Wow. I don't know how I'm going to go through that many. I could poison some stuff, I guess. Poison all my weapons. Might as well. Uh, I've got all modern arrows. I don't have many weapons. Get rid of some of these mushrooms. Stop them spreading. <laughs> Jeez, that's insane. I can't really carry anymore. Don't want to waste them. That's so cool. I had no idea. I'm supposed to use those rocks to build the thing, but never ended up using them. <laughs> Just chugging logs everywhere. Oh, I need another 12 logs. Uh, there we go. Might as well sleep. Get the bunnies to breed. And just to give you a taste of what I'll be doing. We like this and run it back like I did before to get some ultimate flat floors like that and doing it all the way around oh it's gonna take a long time how much is that 11 logs oh, it's gonna be 150 logs eh? oh I'm really tired it's gonna be a big friggin house in the meantime I'm going to have to get some logs, but what I want to do before I take off is start setting up. I need a zip line to get over there because it's just too tedious having to walk. Oh, there goes the skull. <laughs> it fell in the water underneath the ground. Okay, so where is it? There. I want to attach the skull ceiling lamps, but I want to make it look like they're attached to the bottom of the crane. So, like that. And like this. And this. How far away was that? I'd like to try and get it exact. And for the last one. Now it should move up. Yep. Oh. 
nothing I can do about it glitching through. There you go, got some lights here now. Yeah, cool. That's how I wanted it. Don't need these ones. Well, I can use the skulls. Definitely. And I'm getting rid of this. I'm so over it. Oh, that was dramatic. You'll be careful if you're standing under platforms. They can kill you very easily. As I said in the last episode, three meats is what I've been doing. It's fine. You don't need any more, I don't think. Unless you're raising strength. And it's different. Now, to confirm where I'm going to put this zip line, I need to figure out how high I need to go. Okay, it's just under the crane there. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, saw that out later. Jump up this cliff here. It's actually really easy to jump up this one. Build that trap there. Haven't caught anything in it. Probably because I don't come this way. Okay, so it's plenty high enough, and that's from the top of the crane. So, you can actually place them on the top of cranes. Just where do I want it? Could put it behind this rock here. That way when I come in it will stop me. Or I could have it down here. We down here is better. Make it easier to raid the cannibal village. I could set up like a camp here, but oh, they'll probably try and take it down. Yeah, they're already here. Um oh, I need to move. Okay, that was a little bit tricky to place. So I'll place it up here. 24 rope, 10 logs. Hopefully it's easily accessible. So I should be able to jump up and grab it from here. Should be. I'm gonna save before I do this. It'll miss me off if I can't grab it. So I can grab the ropes of saving. Got heaps here. Imagine if you could attach the zip lines to uh, cranes. That way you can make it its height adjustable. That would be cool. Well, this is easy. Just getting the rope. Let's see another 20. I'm going to have to use all the rope I saved, which is not a big deal. It's what I saved it for. Crap like this. How's the traps going over there? Probably nothing. I've been playing a little bit of version... 0.28 and if you're wondering why it's because that was the version the dynamite cannibal came out and removed it in hotfix not long after and i'm trying to see what he's like because i have a feeling he'll be released in the full version and if the dynamite cannibal is going to be released it's going to change things dramatically for this game doesn't matter where you build if you can get dynamite in your base you are pretty much screwed Ooh, I want to see how he operates. I'm just going to make rope for the rest. I uh, just need to make eight, which is too bad. Oh, there we go. It does work. Easy rating. Then I can take the other one back to get back over. All right, time to get some more. Oh, I just kicked my own dynamite. Why would I do that? Ooh. Out of the corner of my eye, what do I see? Is that friendships? Oh, they're really coming at me. That's a bit rude. Yeah. 
Oh, I actually ran into him. That wasn't smart. Oh, God. Uh, Virginia there, too. This might be a, li a little too much, I think. Oh, that killed him. Come on. I was surprised at that. Maybe that one hit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I won't hurt you. I need to provoke her, I think. Come on, tits. Tits McGee. Lived in a tree. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> she charge a little too fast. Uh, just need to get Mr. Fats over here. I was actually trying to kill a cowman in version 0.28. And they take about... In that version, they took about 40 hits with a modern axe. I don't know why. But they did this backflip roll too. I should record it and show you. If you've been playing this game a while, you'll probably know it. Oh, he's on fire as he's running. <laughs> oh, you doing that crap again. Ah, oh, my weapon went out. Come on, stomp, stomp. Oh, I didn't get away in time. Well, that's rude. Ah, stuff you. Come on. Oh, God. I hate fighting fat men. I really miss my booze upgraded weapon. They put the booze on it. I miss it so much. I'm clearing some of these bushes. They're in the way. Stupid stick trees. Can't see what you're doing. If I trigger that, it'll hit me, but it'll kill him. Stuff it. Oh, caught me anyway. <laughs> I just can't win, man. Oh, this deadfall trap's been good to me. Got heaps of kills with it. I don't know why people prefer the happy birthday trap. I can understand sort of like it's wider, so you don't require to build as many, but they're so annoying. It's so easy to trigger them yourself. And I just I've just never liked them to be honest. They're too expensive as well. That's I think that's what my gripe is. Though they both have their pros and cons. I think you just use what's more suitable, but honestly, you'll never see me building happy birthday traps. I just don't like them. I don't have a use for them. Kind of over the happy birthday trap versus deadfall trap debate. I see it nearly everywhere. I think you should just build whatever you like better. Just give them both a try. I lost the log. Try to put them on too fast. I wonder if you can climb up here. Should be able to. Yeah, you can. Good to know. I shouldn't play version 0.28 too much. You can climb up at cliffs basically in that version. Used to be able to just back paddle, climb things. Uh, see how we go after I cleared that thing. Uh, still falls. Okay, bring this down and load this one up. Because there's no point in loading up on the side. Load this one up first. Oh, these freaking mushrooms. They just keep growing. They're spreading like wildfire. I can't stop them. <laughs> uh, what mushrooms don't I have many of? We got Jack. They're poisonous. I'm Anita. I can't find the other ones. I don't know what to do. What do you, mean you can add? Does it make a difference? Just keep adding them. I don't know. I got too many anyway. See, it just did it again. Stop spreading. <laughs> Frick it out. It's pretty cool how it works. It's never ending food. Uh, I might get rid of them all. But I need blueberries, so I'll plant five. Oh, I keep food getting to go and empty this. Go on thinking. Uh, tree houses. I don't like them, but I'm protected here and it's just more novelty. I need to move. Otherwise, I'll take cold damage. Attach this. Uh, where is it? Like that. Link it up to my base. I don't know. Might be a good idea. Have a think about it. See what I come up with. I need to be placing more lights. Spread the lights. I'll block my way. 
Oh, what is that? Get rid of that. Put this in. There you go. I never covered this, what the backslash does. Checks your arms. That's all it does. Usually does two arms, I'm not sure why he's not doing it. Uh, I'm not really looking forward to doing all this, to be honest. It's not something I'm actually in the mood to do. We play games to have fun if you're not really having fun, which is not what I want to do right now. It's just time consuming. If you remember the Flat 4 episode, the special one, yeah, it's pretty much that. I want to save it for another episode. I'm just not feeling it. Test this. Ah, uh, you can't fall. I'm going to test that out. This doesn't drain your energy, by the way. Might be a good alternative to the thing. There we go. This is a mad system. Might do a raid of the cannibal village. I mean, since I'm here, saved an exit before. I take a lot of breaks when I'm playing this game. I don't want to get sick of it. I've got to be careful. It's a secret formula to my life that I use. It's how I don't get sick of this game. Seriously. <laughs> Look how long I've been playing it. I'm doing videos on it. I was playing it long before I started making videos. It's what I don't get about. People tend to think that you start playing the game once you start it on YouTube. It's not correct. I was playing this long before then. I just got sick of uh, when I was trying to find videos on how to do things, you'd have to watch 20 or 30 minutes of a, a playthrough to find the information. Half the time it wasn't there. That's why I started the channel. Probably going back on that a little bit. Started doing that myself, but I try to keep it short, snappy to the point. I'm a big believer in a, a man only speaks when he has something important to say. I don't know if that's an actual quote. It's based off a similar one. It's what I remember of it. Anyway, it's not always important. Maybe he's got some shit to talk. Speaking of shit talking, I started a Discord on the Forest Wiki, if you're interested. Just a way to expand the community, connect it a bit better. There's always my Discord. My Discord's more... It's got a lot more crap in it. <laughs> it's got a lot more variety, sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of good material in there, especially if you like your memes. Though, because the Forest Wiki is the official Forest Wiki, I have to keep it professional. Also got upgraded to Bureaucrat on the Forest Wiki, which means I can promote people now. Though, I haven't had any help in a while. Long-term help. People that have stuck around and actually helped. So, I don't think anyone's going to get the admin position for a while, unless someone can actually come in and help improve themselves. Because I can't keep doing the Wiki forever. And as for when I'm going to stop playing this game, doing this YouTube thing with this game, is when there's nothing more to take away from the game. And what I mean by that is when I've bled this game for everything. If you've noticed, if you've been paying attention or been watching my videos for a long time, I barely do the same thing in each playthrough. I do something different every single time. And the reason being, because otherwise I get bored. It's like I get people saying, you know, oh, giving me tips on how to do things. And a lot of them I'm very well aware of. I'm just trying new things. Otherwise I'll get bored. Because I love playing around with the mechanics in this game. Just makes it so much more entertaining for myself. Always trying to find new exploits, new ways of doing things. But once I run out, once there's nothing else to discover, I think I will lose interest in the game very fast. And I don't think I'll play another game on my channel. Though we'll see what happens with this game if they make it moddable. Moddable, if that's a word. If it can be modded, I will be playing this game for a very long time. Anyway, that's enough for one episode. In the next one, hopefully I should be able to get to the floors of my base. Because I've got to start building something. For my main house anyway. Oh, and on Subnautica, I don't know when I'll be returning to that. I lost interest in it pretty quick. I should get back to it soon. It's still a great game. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.